What up, Brohams? This is Colonel Twerkins, and this is the Broham Nation. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use your video editor to make YouTube thumbnails. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. The program I'm using here is HitFilm 4 Express, and it's the free version. There's a paid version, but the free version has lots and lots of features. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I also have Adobe Premiere Pro CC, but I'm not using that. You can use any of these types of editors as long as, as, long as it has an option to uh, you know, take a still picture from a frame in the video, okay? So maybe some of you at this point can guess how we're gonna do this, but you know, normally I personally make my video edited in, uh, you know, hit Film Express or Adobe. And what I do after that is while it's uploading, then I go work on the, uh, you know, the thumbnail. But depending on what kind of stuff you're making, which usually everyone does take something from the video and make that their thumbnail, especially gamers, we do that a lot. Uh, but this is not about doing fancy stuff, you know, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, because normally I can, I'll just cut out images of the subject and then I'll add a new background, etc., etc., or I just keep plain colored background, whatever. But that's up to you how you want to do it. This is basically uh, a guide for people who, you know, uh, don't really do anything fancy. Or maybe they're not really designers or anything like that. I mean, I personally went to design school, but, you know, there's always uh, less is more. You know, you can always find another way to do things. You know, 10 ways to skin a cat or however it is, whatever they say. <laughs> um, but I'm also going to give you a couple of tips while I'm doing this just to kind of help you out. Okay, so... Uh, what you need to do is get whatever footage that you're working on. So I have some footage here that I'm just using, you know, for this. Uh, and I've already done some of the beginning work, which is I've go gone to a certain point in the video and I've actually um, found a section that I want to use, okay? Or rather where I want to get my uh, still from, okay? So that would be right in here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, if you're in HitFilm uh, and you or you just downloaded it, you would use uh, a post. I mean, I'm sorry, comma and period to go back and forth in the frames. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab just the right frame that I want, something like this. Okay, now that I have it, I need to select the cut the the clip that I cut right and then I'm going to do what you have to do in hit film as you do a composite shot you could easily do this uh, as a sequence if you wanted to in Adobe but in Adobe you don't necessarily have to you can actually add text right away like that's just how it works in Adobe but in this one I would do composite right Composite shot makes it into something that it, that you can edit individually like sequences in Adobe But allows you to add new layers uh, And do different things, you know with it this same thing, but just a different way about doing it Okay, I don't know why they do it that way, but that's just how they do it. Okay now I've got my clip I'm gonna go ahead and select new layer and I'm gonna select text right now just for the sake of ease I'm going to put 1920 by 1080 for my text box. Okay, that makes it as big as the, the actual video. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my font here. And I'm going to use Bender. This game, by the way, if you don't know, it's called Escape from Tarkov. It's a, um, gosh, it's an ultra core uh, RPG MMO milsim game okay it's <laughs> first person so uh, anyway bender is the font that's used the the for all of the text uh secondary text that's used on uh you know different areas of the website and all that right so now i'm going to select uh another characteristic of the the text and that's going to be bold okay 
and then I'm going to uh, bring, come down here to this side panel and I'm going to click the text tool. I'm going to click there and then I'm going to say um, looting. Okay, and then I'm going to control A and I'm going to select the text and then I'm going to do this. You put the mouse over it and you can make it bigger like that. All right? So for some reason it changed it, but that's probably because I have to uh, actually do text for it to change it. There it goes. Okay, and we're going to go back to, let's see, no, I don't want to do, well, we could do black. Let's just do black. Okay, and then we're going to make uh, this a little bigger, right? And then we're going to grab the arrow and we're going to just move this text right where we want it. Then I'm going to actually go back to the text tool and I'm going to go here. In hit film, you have to actually make the asterisk. And then if you want to type in a code, if you already know what it is, and then you can go in and add it to custom colors, say okay, and that will make it look like it should. All right, so now that we've got that, it's pretty simple, right? Because this will save you a lot of time and a lot of extra effort, right? So now we'll go back down here, select the, uh, the actual footage, uh, which is our clip basically at this point, right? And then we're going to uh, actually go to effects here. And let's say I want to do, let, uh, let's see, how about some color correction? Right, and we'll just drag that there. Now anything I do here, if we go to the track, I mean, I'm sorry, controls, uh, everything is it would be in, he, in here for each one that you're highlighted on, which is this track in this case. So you'd have the auto color and then you could click this downward arrow and you could actually, uh, you know, adjust it as you'd like it. So we might brighten it up a little bit there. All right, so now the next effect that I, I might want to put, let's say I want to put a vignette on there, right? So let's drag it down, okay? And so then, of course, this is open. We can actually, uh, you know, put how much we want it on there and how much we don't. So we can just kind of do something like that. And then with original, okay, that's pretty much um, a nice looking effect there. Don't know what that does. Okay, what is that? Select frame. All right, so now, ah, maybe you might want to do some grunge, right? So we could take some green and we could put that on there. All right, that, that makes it look pretty cool. And go into green and just add just as much as you want. Make it monochrome right there. That looks cool. And let's see here. Sharpen. We might want to sharpen it a little bit and actually um, <clears throat> go into the, that and turn the strength down just a bit. You know, I don't know. You can do anything. As long as you pick something uh, out of here that makes you happy, that you like, and that you think looks cool, it's great. But as far as tips on how to design thumbnails, always remember, keep your text on, on one side and your subject on the other. That's how you would frame it. Now, we read, at least in English, from left to right, top to bottom. Uh, this is just a simple thing in design that you can do and is part of composition. So I personally like to keep my subject on the right and my text on the left for that reason. Also, you have to be mindful that if you can see my cursor here in this little area, there's like a square area here on the feed when you see the, the videos, the thumbnails, you also see a little semi-transparent box with the running time, the, the time that the video lasts. And that covers up that area when people are looking at it. So you may want to make sure that nothing is, especially because of the thumbnails when they're at a very small size, that can cover up a, a good area. So you don't want to put anything that's visually necessary or interesting in that area. All right. And that's pretty much it. I mean, 
there's not a whole lot to it. Now I can say, hey, I'm done with my uh, thumbnail and I can get back to the rest of editing because it could be a video that you work on and in the first few seconds, there's a great uh, thumbnail uh, image that you want. So you could just work on it right away, then go ahead and do the next step, which is uh, in HitFilm Express, you could do options and export frame, but there are programs just like Adobe that have a button that will allow you to take a snapshot right away. But here we're gonna go ahead and do export frame. Then I'll go ahead and name it. Oops. Looting thumbnail. Save. And there we go. There's our looting thumbnail. So I think that being able to do something like this for some of you out there uh, who clicked on this video, it's, it's going to be really awesome because it allows you to just kind of use it uh, for more than just editing videos. Um, I haven't seen, at least maybe I didn't see it because I never really went looking for it. I'm not sure if anyone else has made a video about this, but regardless, take these tips and use them. If you have any more questions about this, or if you have any tips of your own that you use, or if you'd like to know some more about YouTube design, I do have a video that I did quite a while back, but I'll link it here and it'll be in the description. So just make sure you check that out. And if you subscribe, hit the bell icon when you do, so that way you'll be uh, given notice when I stream or put up content. All right, guys, thanks a lot. All praise due to God. See you on the next one. Peace.